What is up, Fire Breath fans? It's Fire Breath here. And uh, I'm going to bring you some of uh, Fire Breath's cool, amazing Minecraft inventions. Yay! Now, I didn't get any comments l like last time. Remember, you can leave a comment for whatever disc you want me to play. I have them all in here. So, yeah. So, I'm going to bring you some more inventions, as you see. There's a lot more than last time. And if you want to see the one before, the video before this one, I'll put a link up on the screen right there. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so you're wondering what the heck this is. Well, you don't have to have this glass uh, wall here, but I did it for uh, the testing purposes. As you may have thought, it is a trapdoor. Now this trapdoor works. Now you're wondering why there's wood here. I decided to make it wood, but then I thought I'd make it sand. Looks to be malfunctioning, but eh, let's hope it works. This thing's a little pesky, though. Alright, so... How about we bring in a test certificate for this invention to test it out? Yeah, y'all see what I did there. So he's gonna. So let's just say you get someone or some animal or month mob of some sort to wonder where you want it to go. So all you do is pull the lever, and down it goes. And it appears some of the pistons didn't work. And this thing's always breaking down. And as you see, I haven't cleaned this thing out, but they would fall down to this area where the only way at, it would be a lot longer, but the only way out would be death in the lava. So, yeah. Okay. As you see over here, I've converted the same invention to one that uses pressure plates. So let's say you lure a mob by making it angry or something, and it walks over these pressure plates. This well, I didn't fall in, but I guess if you're lucky, they would fall into this room. No door, I bet. That's just so I can get out. I'm done. And the only way out is to jump in here. So, yeah, I guess you get the concept of this thing. And it would be a lot longer drop. They would be lucky to survive, though. Okay, so what we have here is you've seen in a lot of videos where, uh, in a vi where someone does an adventure map and all that. And there's these AND gates like I showed you in the last video over there. If you have it, I'll... Just go watch the video if you want to learn more about AND gates, but let me just give you a quick review. I can't stand and open this door unless someone else is standing on that pressure plate. So let's say this pumpkin is some other person. Boom, we've opened the door. Now how that's how now you're wondering how do we get it wired up to do that? Well, as you see I have the AND gate right here and all the wirings right under well, this dirt. I don't know why I did that, but... I don't know. And I've wired it all the way up to this repeater. Now, the repeater has to be touching the block to the door. As I figured it out. The block attached to the door. It can only be, like... It's touching this block, as you can see. So, that's pretty much it. Now, moving on. Let's just say... All right, have you been mining and you have a bu or if you have a bunch of junk like a bunch of cobblestone or dirt you're not using blocks you're not using, and you want to get rid of it? Well, I've made something co that is a trash can. What you do, you take all the junk you don't want. I bet I wouldn't want to throw that food away. Let's just say I don't want this stuff. Boom, it's gone. Warning, after you push the button, whatever went in there is gone, so be careful when you're 
when you do something like this. Because what's fueling this thing, as you thought, is molten lava. Now, I've done something like this before, but I've kind of done something stupid before. I've had it, a hole in here where you just throw the item in there. But it was made of wood and that broke, and I thought, hmm, sometimes it doesn't go in there. So I'm like, how about I just make it to where it automatically goes in there whenever you, whenever you get it in there. When it's not a struggle just to throw something in there. So yeah. And I instead made the lava drop down. I could show you a di I guess I could build you what I did before. I just have this little box right here. Throw the item in. And it would be down some big hole with lava or just disappear. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, for this next invention, this is for those of you who like to build adventure maps or like adventure maps. What I have here is I have this lava in these little blocks here. And these pressure plates, I get you just guessed, are going to release the lava down to this hallway where I would normally be walking. So, let's just say this hallway's even longer, but it's pretty short for testing purposes because this thing gets a little messy if I stay on these things for a while. So, the best thing to do is if you encounter something like this is to run like crazy. So, run in the, as you just heard, the lava's about to drop. And you can see it. Well not going to make a mess. So, I guess you're wondering, well, let's see the whole thing, uh, well, drop on the ground. But before that, I'm going to show you how I did this. First, I had these pressure plates down here, and I wired them all the way over here to this NAND gate, which goes all the way up here, which activates the pistons, as you can see, just for those of you who want to build it. So, here we go. Let's see this whole thing if someone didn't make it in time. And then boom, I would be dead. I would be dead. This whole hallway would be flooded. Now, it is pretty sloppy and you could lose the game, but I built a second route if you were going to put this in an adventure map if you, like, failed the task or something. And as you can see, the giant mess, well, it's left over there. And I'll, don't worry, I'll be one cleaning it up. Oh joy, I can't wait to clean all that up. Okay, on to our next invention. Okay, so what we have here is, well, a wall. A wall with a lever on it. Yeah, yeah. What the heck, he's just showing us a wall? No, I ain't not showing you a wall. I'm showing you a secret door. Oh my goodness, I'm in my, a secret room with gold and diamonds. Oh, it's in this shit. Oh, the gold. Oh, the gold. Oh, my. The diamond. Mmm, cake. Yes. I want all that cake. Give me all that cake. Yeah, so I made a secret door, as you can see, back here. And over here, this is an example of how to build one. So the best thing to do is to first uh, get pressure plates like uh, not pre la, 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 la. pistons, not pressure plates, like so, out here. Now, what you do, you should boost it up, the redstone up on a block, because pre pre uh, pistons uh, are normally generate every single piston by just having it one block up, as you can see over here in this little demonstration. This here does not work. It will only activate one. This here, if it's boosted up by another block, works. So, you can see the difference. Works, don't work. Doesn't work, 
works. And I ah, finally I tamed light. So what I do, I get all these here, and I would set the first redstone repeater. This is kind of mandatory to two. I'd knock it back two paces. If I was to use this one, I'd knock it back all the way to four. Now I would loop around and do it on the second one. I'd do the same thing again. And make sure you're having this redstone extend out because if it is to be open, well, you'd see how it would work. So, yeah. Now, you're wondering why I have this redstone out still. When this thing opens, this pressure plate is going to scoot this pressure plate before it activates over to this redstone, which will activate it. So, as we see here. Well, I guess you can't see, but hang on. Well, maybe you can see. So, I guess that's pretty much it since I can't show you. I think I should have made this thing out of glass, though. Yeah. If you want me to show you more of that, feel free to feel free to ask me to do that. So yeah. Okay. What we have here is another explosive trap. Now this is another one where you're walking down a hallway. Now let's say you're walking down a hallway. What would happen is these uh all these uh. Pistons would drop down some blocks from down, and some other ones would drop it from all the way up, as you can see here. So, let's just walk in and show you how this is done. But before, you can see what I did. These are going to be where the pressure plates are going to be, so there's going to be three in there, because I bet they'll be in there right when the pressure plates are activated. And right under the pressure plates are, of course, TNT. As you can see here, I have it all rigged right up here, over here, to these pistons. And now, let's just see the whole thing now. So I'm walking down the hallway. Oh no! Oh no! I can't get out! I gotta mine it out! I can't mine it out! And I'm dead. So yeah. As you can see, I was hitting blocks like the block the pi the purpose of the pistons is so if they this they if they had a pick, they would have to mine it and if they want to get through, they're going to have to mine up and down just to get through because you're two blocks high. So I measured it out to be two blocks high and well, I bet even if you had a diamond pick, you would not be have enough time to get out of blast radius. So you'd either be hurt or killed, which I bet you'd be killed. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you'd get hurt. So yeah. So I guess that about does it for this uh, episode. So see you next time. And remember to leave me a comment on which record you want me to play in the, G in the record player. So yeah. Fire Breath, signing out. Goodbye, everyone. Into the night sky I go.